Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. The 8 ball clutch is now all out of the egg, uh, so we're going to take a look at that. Uh, I think as some of you have seen on Instagram, unfortunately the female 8 ball, the uh, cinnamon black pastel allelic combo, um, is kinked. So I warn you up front that uh, I am going to show that snake. Uh, the rest of the clutch is fine. Um, this is a genetic issue, it's a known genetic issue and I knew going into the project that this was a possibility. So let's remind ourselves of what the parents were. Cinnamon Mojave. So this is mum and this is dad. A banana black pastel. So a fairly simple combination. We've got cinnamon and Mojave in the mother and banana and black pastel in the father. So uh, just a uh, possible four gene outcome. Uh, so let's take a look at what we got. So here is the eight ball clutch all together and this is the banana black pastel to the cinnamon Mojave. Let's get straight into this. They've been out of the egg for a couple of days and some of them are actually starting to go into shed. But right off the bat, um, let me show you the issue with the eight ball female here and uh, this is the girl here. And it was actually very hard to spot when she came out of the egg but you can see that she is kinked uh, behind the head and a little bit along here and when she first came out of the egg she was actually struggling to orient and to move uh, but you can see now that she is actually moving quite a lot better and I'm not worried about the kinking in here um, that isn't an issue uh, you can see now that she is actually able to straighten her head although it is a hindrance to her she is actually a beautiful snake lovely color very very even just a little tiny bit of paradoxing down here at the tail end but otherwise just a glorious metallic -y color all over a little bit of white on the back of her head here um, so unfortunately as is often the case with the super form of black pastel cinnamon or the allelic combo of cinnamon black pastel she is kinked she has a slight slight deformity also of the lower jaw uh, not very severe that again just little small defects the biggest one being the kink behind the neck here but um, not a candidate for immediate euthanization. I want to see whether this girl can actually eat when she sheds and I'm hopeful that she will be able to eat. Uh, you can see that it isn't a truly debilitating deformity at this point in time. So we'll monitor this girl and figure out whether she's going to be able to survive So that is the 8 ball and unfortunately guys yes uh, she is kinked, uh, you can see she can actually hold her head forward and she is actually improving in the way she moves uh, since she came out of the egg so um, I'm not going to do anything drastic with this girl immediately we're actually going to see whether she can thrive. So that's the 8 ball. We got three bananas in the clutch. You can see these three guys down here. Three bananas and three very, very different looks to these guys here. Um, this is a straight banana, I think, on this side here. Both of these are banana and both of these are Mojave. You can see from the difference in pattern, uh, the straight banana is much, much cleaner. And these have the typical Mojave alien head. So both of them are banana Mojave. Uh, this one is quite pale and dulled out so I think this one is just banana and Mojave and I think this one is banana, Mojave and either cinnamon or black pastel. This guy here is the obligatory normal. Now there are only four genes at play here, banana, 
black pastel, cinnamon and Mojave and here is the obligatory normal this guy is just a Mojave quite a nice one though very very bright dorsal on this one straight Mojave and then we have two very dark coloured snakes here and I'm not sure where you start to try to differentiate cinnamon and black pastel but these look to me like they're one or the other as opposed to this one here which has Mojave in it and this one to me looks just like mum this is a cinnamon Mojave or Savannah I think and the other two I am tempted to say are black pastel but as I say where do we start trying to differentiate cinnamon from black pastel um, one thing that we definitely do need to do is to wait for them to shed and see what their true colours are once they've shed and we'll come back to that uh, once they have shed the interesting thing about these banana boys here uh, they are they have been sired by a different banana male to my usual bananas and they are actually very different um, the male was, that was used for this clutch was a banana black pastel and he was covered in freckles now, these guys here don't have freckles yet but I'm pretty certain they will as opposed to my other banana which is a banana that ends warmer uh, which is very very clean and gives very very clean offspring so I thought for a future video it would be really useful to compare the two sets of offspring from different banana fathers one with and one without speckles and we can talk about speckling in banana and what a uh, fantastic variety of banana polymorphic variation of banana you can actually get and we'll talk about speckles and what adds to speckles or takes speckles away depending upon your preference because I do have several clutches now that I can compare so we'll do that in a later video and of course this poor girl here the uh, eight ball uh, we'll see when she sheds uh, what she looks like uh, I'm sure her colors are going to be phenomenal when she's shed out uh, but we do need to keep an eye on her uh, because of that kinking so the kinking is a genetic issue with this combination of genes. Uh, we've got uh, the rest of the offspring that do not have this combination are perfectly fine and it's just the eight ball that was affected. So it is genetic rather than anything to do with incubation. Although many people have tried incubating at cooler temperatures to uh, develop the eggs a little bit slower to see whether that makes a difference but let me show you what's happening from a genetic standpoint here is our two strands of DNA one from mum and one from dad and here is our black pastel or cinnamon a genetic modifier at the address associated with black pastel or cinnamon and the gene carries a small defect it's either missing some genetic material or uh, there is something wrong with that genetic material and just as in spider where the spider gene carries the head wobble um, that genetic defect is very severe and in the heterozygous form or just one copy of the spider gene you can see the expression in the offspring they they have head wobbles to varying degrees whereas black pastel and cinnamon uh, the king king issues uh, duck bills and other deformities it's a very small probable genetic defect which um, in its heterozygous form when there is only one copy is so small that the um, non-deformed genetic material on the other side of the allele 
uh, makes up for that genetic deficiency and nothing shows up in the offspring so the heterozygous form of cinnamon and black pastel is perfectly okay. It's only when you combine two copies of the genes in the homozygous form So the super form of black pastel, the super form of cinnamon, or the black pastel cinnamon allelic combination, both sides of the allele are now carrying this very slight genetic abnormality. And there is no perfect code now to fill in for that deficiency. So in its super form, it magnifies the genetic deficiency and very often the eight ball, the cinnamon black pastel, super black pastel or super cinnamon uh, will come out with issues. So it is a known genetic thing. Some offspring turn out perfectly fine. Uh, in this case, we have a, a slight kinking issue. I've seen much, much worse than that with the eight ball combination. So it is genetic, unfortunately, and is nothing to do with uh, the way they've been incubated you can see the rest of the clutch are perfectly formed and they were sitting right next to that egg so uh, no differences in uh, the way that these eggs were incubated has caused that deficiency this is actually a known genetic deficiency and that is how it's passed on so unfortunately this female is the homozygous form or the uh, allelic combination of cinnamon and black pastel so this very small genetic defect that's carried in that gene is actually uh, duplicated on both sides of the allele and that's the expression that we get in the poor female that uh, just hatched out of this clutch so that's the reason it happens guys and the eight ball was obviously the the prize uh, that was going to be the visual spectacular snake from the clutch and we got one uh, but unfortunately she is suffering from this uh, genetic abnormality so there we go guys it's a little bit unfortunate this hobby uh, can pick you up and then knock you down uh, i didn't see the defect in the egg and it wasn't severe enough for me to to notice until she actually came out of the egg um, i'm still hopeful that uh, she may be able to eat in which case we will give her the best quality of life that we, we can uh, since we're responsible for creating that. Um, I owe it to her to give her the best shot. Uh, so I'll keep you posted on that. Let's see whether she can eat or not and um, we'll take it from there. Why did I do this pairing when I knew that was a possibility? Uh, well. I had a number of project goals here and the banana black pastel is the only black pastel that I have in my collection so I knew I wanted to breed him to reverse engineer the black pastel. I need black pastel in many of my projects so I had to breed him to something and the cinnamon Mojave was available and obviously the eight ball sprung to mind. When you breed cinnamon to black pastel there is a one in four chance that you will get the cinnamon black pastel allelic combination so there was a good chance of getting the eight ball um, not all eight balls are deformed i have seen some online which are uh, perfectly okay um, i think it's highly unlikely given the outcome that i would want to do this again uh, but also mission accomplished in terms of extracting black pastel so there is no reason to uh, push this combination again so there you have it guys, it is unfortunate, I'm uh, extremely disappointed, um, I will let you know how this girl does and whether she can eat or not and what the outcome of that is. So until next time, don't forget to share, like and subscribe, stay safe and we'll see you on the next one.